going to set the valves here. We've, we've, adjust, we've backed these off so that there's a lot of space in between the top of the valve and the, uh, and the valve rocker arm. I've set the engine for this first go round at number one top dead center. We can adjust half the valves at that setting. We'll be able to adjust exhaust and intake on number one, intake on number two, and exhaust on number three on this, on this setting. Our valve clearance is 18 thousandths for both the intake and exhaust on this, uh, on this engine. So I'm just going to run it down with the screwdriver till the uh, feeler gauge gets just a little bit snug. I'll hold it there and tighten the, the set screw. Then I recheck it. Sometimes it takes a couple of times around. That seemed like it loosened up just a little bit during the tightening process. So I'll back it off, tighten it just a little bit more, and tighten it back down. Still loose. A little tighter. Set the screw. Now that's nice and snug. Just fits inside there. Do the same thing for number two, or the uh, intake valve on this cylinder. Bring it down till it touches, till it's snug. Tighten, a little bit loose. A little more, tighten, and there it is. Just a small amount of drag to pull that out. Do the intake valve on number two cylinder. Each one is the same process. So I've got the four valve set for the first go around on number one top dead center. Both valves on one, intake on two, and exhaust on three. Now what I'm going to do is roll the crankshaft over one revolution. So that'll put number four at top dead center. And I'll adjust exhaust and intake on four, intake on three, and exhaust on number two. So we'll turn the crankshaft one revolution to bring number four cylinder up on top dead center. Uh, 10 degrees, top dead center with our mark here. Good. That completes the valve tightening sequence. We've got everything adjusted. It's a good time to just take a visual check and make sure that you no know debris has dropped into here and that you've uh, got everything tight like it should have been and uh, that the process is complete here. Our next step is to cover the, to put the valve cover on and we'll do that right now.